Hey, Mascot Hot News, and today I'm going to be talking about the tornado one year later. The damage. There was a lot of damage due to the tornado. It hopped from neighborhood to neighborhood in Pulaski County, ripping through tree-lined streets, first in Little Rock, then through North Little Rock, Sherwood, and Jacksonville. By 3 p.m., windows were blown out of cars, countless trees were uprooted, and thousands of buildings were damaged or, damaged or destroyed. Where was I when the tornado hit? I was at my house when the tornado hit. Luckily, my house was not affected by the tornado. When my mom heard that there was going to be a tornado, she, that there was going to be a tornado, she checked me out of school. When the tornado came close to us, my mom made me stand in the bathroom, which is our safe room. I was definitely a little nervous, but everything was okay. Luckily, we didn't get hurt. The rebuilding process. Luckily, we were able to rebuild some things, but there are even, but even a year later, you can see where some. Things are still down. My friend got some damage from the tornado, and they are just now able to move back into their house. Sadly, some people had to move because their damage was not fixable. This was, I think that the tornado caused a lot of damage and that we should be aware of it and help the people that were affected. This is Joey Connell from PBS Sky Hot News. Hi, this is Joey Connell from PBS Sky Hot News, and today I'm going to be interviewing Hannah Shahabedin. Okay, and today I'm going to be asking her a couple of questions. What did you think the tornado was going to be like when you first heard of it? I didn't think it was actually going to happen. I thought it was going to be like a severe storm. Okay, were you scared of the tornado? Um, not really, because like I was in like a safe place because I was like kind of underground. Were you? Where were you when the tornado happened? I was at school in a sixth grade classroom. Were you affected by the tornado in any way? I was not affected, but people I knew were affected. All right, this is Joey Connell from PMS Skyhawk News. Go Skyhawks.